uh, lineups, I'm surprised like everyone's having a good game. That's usually, that's usually like <laughs> that surely can't last. This yeah. is so bad. <laughs> I'm saying like usually it's the opposite. Like everyone's having like a bad game because everyone's <laughs> focusing on shutting each other down. But both teams are just playing for their own own fun. Yeah, and it's such a patch where offline just can get shut down so easily with yeah. the, the, the new creep equilibrium. In some trouble here. Yep, so, uh, oh. Trap coming through yeah, and dead. first blood design. First blood. Nice snipe there. Offering. First night night stalker level yeah. three. That, that's going to be one of the big things, maybe, if the, for Optic to kind of accelerate. But. I didn't see, really see them prioritize. Yeah, I didn't see Ogre much. stacking at all. Oh, pursuing out maybe here. Got the they got the silence too. off. Can they bring him down? Soul oh, rip. Soul rip. That Soul Rip was so much help. Heals him up. They had to quit the Tombstone for this. Tombstone. Problematic. Oh, they stunned him during the, during the E. Oh, he's dead. Oh, oh the TP. E. Coil. Oh, they get him, but Most heavy coil. commitment there. That was a Sansa. sick stun by the Knicks. He, like, did it right with with just on a burning spear. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, that's like something as Huskar where you're, you're oh, mid lane. Uh -oh. Could be finding another kill. CC and C snapping the coil, tries to back away, but they stun him, they orb through and doesn't get him off. They'll get the kill again. Not a good start. Oh, he did go Bracer. He's going drums. Yeah, yeah he went Bracer. <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's going drums, but could uh, be casual Bracer. I think he just acknowledges, like, he has to make space for this Morphling, so he's going to have to stats. just stats, yeah. fight, Career consistent, like, snipe. ramping up his power hey, rather than going for the big items. PPD on a long journey, but Morphling uh, PPD cut special him off. Here. Yeah, I was just saving space his Space created. He's fine. Go back the other way. He's, he's fine. fine. He's actually, it's not even worth chasing uh, he him. He might gentlemen. actually be fine. <laughs> they could chase him, but it's like, why? Who cares? For an ogre? <laughs> I wish I had this life. You know, like you're so carry and you're out of position. And, yeah. Tidehunter and Puck are oh, coming in. Well, maybe he wants to make it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this happened. I can't believe it. Now F is in on the action. We've got four LGD heroes. Clarity and get the maybe TP. Two on. of them gave up, but the 25 mana forced the ult. Still going in. Oh my more god! Be able to Meanwhile, that. more important kills happening is hey. Ame will. Fall. No, no, this set. That kill up, so this is definitely the more important kill, you know. <laughs> I think it's a kill, I guess the Night Stalker silence. You want to fight, then you go for the treads, but I think he's like, there, I don't think it, there's any time in the first 20 to 30 minutes that a Morphling can fight a, a Huskar Omni heads up. I think he just doesn't want to wait for that Lincoln's. Like, the only way he dies is if he gets silenced that is true from Night too. Stalker, right? It so. does slow down your Lincoln's timing as well, but almost every time they skip treads, it's they also go back for the Boots of Travel. Yeah, he's kind of hoping know. for that scenarios like top where he can play the cleanup, where his team set the kill frame, he TPs in and yeah. gets like the, the Huskar. Anti-mage team fight contribution. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. You this can you can contribute to a team fight with just your battle fury, but you need to make sure you're the last hero yeah. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. Coil coming through. They're going to commit here towards PPD, but the Ogre's not the one you really want to dive for as QQQ gets caught out even through the Soul Rip will go down, and now the chase is on. They have the Ravage, but Optic are too tanky. I'm not sure they could take this. They'll try it. Ravage. Big Impale follow up, but the Huskar, if he lives through this, can turn it. The Omni ult comes out, and now Ame's right, on the run, get <laughs> chewing right through him. Goes for the self repel, tries to get away to safety, but still pursuit. Dropping the traps, waving out an LGD. Round two of this fight going to be lacking some of those big team fight ults. It's just the cores of Optic running right through them. Pycat diving forward. They'll fight QQQ as well. Three drop in the end, and Ultra make it four. I can't believe Looking they took for maybe fight. two. Yeah, I can't believe they fought into the Omni Huskar. That, that's they have low physical damage on LGD, so going like uh, evasion or armor yeah. isn't as necessary this game sure. either. I'm just saying, as, as one of the few carries that I've ever built early Satanic on is Huskar, so... Yeah. It is situationally, and I agree with it in this game that it's a it's a good option because they just can't stop him from auto attack. Nice pick off there. Yeah, we're gonna snipe the courier, but that's why being pursued here as well. And you can see LG just not wanting to fight Optic head on after the way that last engagement went. All right, LGD smoking up now. They're gonna fight headlong into Optic. CCNC might be in position to break this. As Ame finds a kill on PPD, but. The more important action up here near the Roshan Pit. Sentry gets dropped down. They do get the jump on Soxa, but the Omni Knight's in position. The Ravage coming through will connect there on the Huskar, but Zai able to dodge that. Stay alive. Like, no, is that Zai's no, Yules? No, that's not Yules. Yeah, yeah, it's it is. Is. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. his own Yules. That was a sick dodge. So the Pucks. I knew Pucks was the Yules. Yeah. I thought it was Pucks. No, he went drums. <laughs> Much from the strength because of the health regen from your uh, first ability. It's a it's a lot of strength on Halberd too. Yeah, it, it is. So it's damage. Times. It's it's 16 yeah. strength and 25 damage. I think so. It's a it's a serious damage item with his attack speed built yeah. in. And then the evasion is obviously a nice. Part. Here comes Yao moving in, but the sentry oh. gonna find him deleted and potentially more to follow. The Roshan claimed is Pycat snags the Aegis. 
And they Yules. did trap one with the Yules. Good setup on QQQ. Yep. Two kills right back the way of Optic to go with that Roche. I'm telling you, this is a Husqvarna dream. Like, no like, because there's several. a Morphling, they basically have a 4v5 scenario with an a Aegis Huskar, one of the scariest Aegis carriers in the game, because he, like, wants to play at low health, but sometimes he'll be too scared to do so, but now that he has the Aegis, he's willing to sit at really low health, and that just amps up his damage output, like, yep, significantly. And to top it off, Ravage still cooling down a bit longer here, so Optic wastes no time going high ground. I like that Puck, he, he gets the creep wave coming up next, so he knows if they clear this wave and stop the They push. have a catapult, though, so... Yeah. You uh, say if, and Optic say no. <laughs> Straight onto the tower. Coil committed, but only a stalling coil. Pycat running in through this. He just dives in with the help of the Repel. He'll force them on their heels. Now the melee rack's being chewed up by CC and C. Where's the hold for LGD? Optic gonna reset. They've done some pretty critical structural Morphling's damage. On high ground bottom. That's that's key here. He's going to force them back. So they've lost a tier three. Oh wow! Oh, Ooh. he took a tier three actually. Wow. Not bad, by That's why he went bots. Like as a, uh, that, I like to try to understand the decisions, and that so he has no intention of fighting them. This little he's... puck might be in too far. Phase shift. Doesn't have the blink dagger though. But he's PPD got wants to pursue this. Yeah, he <laughs> bangs the drums, drums to safety. That little Morphly comes in. They'll find There's DPD the as well. Team fight contribution. Exactly how they have to ravage up and optic. Bit more hesitant to take this one. They can not kill this Huskar. <laughs> Maybe once. They can stun him though. Yeah. Run, yeah. Is he gonna burn down? He's pretty low. They're gonna drop the Ravage. Can they get him once? They got TA. Pycat. Really nice. There's the Yules. He seems to played a little ballsy there. Round two. Yeah, diving back in onto Ame. Just man fighting his way through. Oh, himself. they can't kill this guy. They want to get Rax. No chance. They, the the Ravage is used. They're trying to get Rax here while they're still at Aegis, though. And that's this time LGD do not have that split yeah. threat at bottom. That's a really cool buyback. By that, I think, yeah, that is really smart. As much as he misplayed by going too aggressive, he he baited out the ravage. Yeah, it was all the morphling like uh, the morphling turned into Omni and repelled himself. That was pretty funny. They'll yeah. they'll get Rax here and contest it. And yep, this is Huskar. Bottom line, okay. Oh, he still the creep wave. This is exactly what he needs oh, wow. to do. This is like he cannot fight them head on. I like how he look for up. more though. Coil coming out, trying to slow this down while they go for the trade. Now, Optic looking for a second lane, perhaps. They rotate towards the bottom side. Omni's running toward top. Where He's are they going to go? Tube He's got on top tower. Omni might just rat them to death, but it's Optic. A, it's a one hero Do this to a bit, bit quicker. He has to do this. With the Desolator. <laughs> they should be able to get their X. Can they get back after that? They're diving in. They might just go into a full-on base race at this rate. Melee Rack's about to fall. Ame's already brought down the tower. He might get the trade too. Will they back in time? Optic time trying to get the hell out. I they can't TP really. They can he's, make it cancel. A little I love Oscar Dota. But they happening? can cancel some TPs. Pycat will go back, try to end this TP. They're going to catch more. Can more. Can he do it? Meanwhile, Zai also being pursued out. out. LGD getting a couple. The TA first, the Omni possibly next. Morph did TP. Did don't he get think the he got the rat. He, he got it melee, no. no. He got it low. Uh, oh, oh look at that damage kills. on the range. Yeah, that was one. on the melee. Yeah. I mean, not bad for LGD. No, I mean, that's exactly what Morphling has to do, so... I mean, yeah, he's got so many ways of keeping so It's alive. actually not... The, the oh, blink is not going to help him. All right, well, LGD, they've them. only got a second or two to get to this pit. In fact, it's probably already too late. Roche is just going to melt. And again, it's Pycat claiming the Aegis. This is kind of one of the spots where if I, I don't know how LGD holds. Are they going to take a fight? Morphling is yeah, in the top lane already. They're trying to stop baiting them out, yeah, and now it fight. looks like this melee rack's in trouble now. Optic are not in position I don't to think Optic cares. They're going to go Megas. Megas. Yeah, they don't yeah. care. Morphling cannot go for mid lane with the T2 tower there. Yeah. And they might even lose somebody on the way back. The puck's caught out a little bit. He's just buying time. Ogre's looking to cancel TP on the tide. Like, this is great. Oh, they do get the melee, the range top for LGD, but now Mega's on the horizon. Is Optic. mid tier too. He can't even Bring this either. down. Where does he go now? He heads back towards the bottom lane and waves in that lane, but the tombstone's going to drop yeah. an Optic. Melee. Jeopardy will fall now onto the range. Where's the defense for LGD? Their paces and shambles. When they come back. Morphling comes into the fray, tries to bring down CC and C. With the stolen TA. Still trying to work on PyCat here, force him on his heels. Now the Ravage coming through, waves on back in, and now commits forward. But PyCat, that's a difficult man fight. Not one I'll make it up to take. He has to buy back immediately. Three very low, but nobody dead. And PyCat just keeps on fighting, gets the monster kill streak. The racks have been claimed. Now Optic are content to back away. They might lose PPD, but a noble sacrifice by the Ogre. And weird looks game. like the rest get out of there.
two mid was massive. I, yeah. Warplane would have had time to get yep, Vegas absolutely. otherwise. And Optic knew this, like, uh, they played yep. it really well. It's the last effort for yep. OPD here. Defend mid. Could be the end. Tommy doesn't have the buyback. Has to be very careful not to get caught out. Husker will dive him deep and Optic Experience Experience him. Him, yeah. Yeah. Catching him out with the traps. They blow him up and that's no Morphling for 90 seconds. That's Plenty key. of time for Optic to end the game. The GG is called. LGD, the struggle first, continues, right? even with the roster change-up. Our struggles continue. Yeah. <laughs> My struggle continues. Okay, I, I'm actually just... You guys told me to go Morphling. Here's the deal. Whatever he says, <laughs> I'm going to disagree with it. And he's either going to get his first prediction right, you know, or I'm going to be right. I actually was like, I was doubtful of picking the Morph, but I was like, you know what? I, I can't be wrong if I pick Morph. Right we, we committed it. earlier, though. We said, like, to solve our problem, we're going to pick Morph. Like, I mean, that's Huskar Dota. I, I think... Uh, I said in the laning stage that even though LGD was happy with what they were getting, that Optic...